What's up, you fucking jerks? Let's try this for the third time here. Kicking off our daily stream problem routine here. Ooh, got a good fart going. You got it? I don't know why this game in particular will not stream in HDR. Just won't do it, and that is a stinky fart. Holy shit. Woo! Man, my farts lately have been ridiculous. Man, if I was... Dude, if I was like on, if I was like looking at the Grand Canyon or something right now, I would just like jump in that motherfucker, dude. Kill myself to end this. There's something wrong with me. Damn, hell yeah, Shadow Loaf, you know what's up. So I was trying to pick a game to play. There's a couple I was looking at. Uh, I was maybe going to do Outlast 2 because I hadn't beat that one. Um. I figured I'd dick around with a little bit of Resident Evil 2. I wanted to see what it looked like on my TV with HDR. But, uh, ain't gonna happen, I suppose. Plus, you guys have never seen me play this on the, uh, mainly difficulty. Oh, what's this? You can pre-order it. And Jill looks so fucking good, dude. I love the way she looks. It's gonna be baller. So as you can tell, I got, yeah, Force Survivor, I beat that. I beat Tofu Survivor in 10 minutes. So that was pretty good. I didn't even do No Time to Mourn. Oh, they, oh I got that stuff for free now? I think I tried the Runaway one. I didn't even try these. No, I'm not a big uh, Resident Evil 3 fan anyways. I'm not as good as all as some of y'all at this game for sure, dude. But we will get a new game brewing. What do you guys think, Claire or Leon? I tend to think Leon is the more fun campaign, but I don't know because he he's got that alligator battle. I'm not a big fan of the uh, little girl section and Claire's. Yeah, Leon. I'm getting a lot of Leon votes. Yeah, let's go with Leon. <coughs> hardcore. It's like, are you sure? It's it's hard and stuff. Are you sure? Are you really sure? Leon. I knew a couple Leons growing up. Growing up. Dude, this burger. I think this burger is why the virus broke out, dude. If, if people are eating burgers that look like that, then that's what's wrong with these motherfuckers, dude. They all got, like, serious food poisoning. And they got some kind of disease from it, dude. That's all it is. I'll trace it back to the burgers. Dude, it's, it's like he's, like, he's, like, moving it around the roof of his mouth with his tongue or something. The way he eats that sandwich is just gross. Yeah. Your wife's a grotesque fucking fat slob then, dude. The burger virus. Good. I'll give Burger Kings more credit than that, dude. That burger looks sickening. If I made this game, dude, I'd be having, I'd be having like him getting roadhead, and then the person giving him roadhead, like, would turn into a zombie, and, like bite his dick off or something, dude. That's what I would do. Like she'd look up, and then they talk a little bit, and then she'd be like. I'm not really feeling that good, and then she turns into a zombie, and he's he's driving the truck at the same time, and she starts like eating his dick. That'd be awesome. That's what I would do. Yeah, zombies have no gag reflux. That's true. You can get it balls deep in there. I can stream Resident Evil too. I don't know why you guys thought that. I've streamed it before. You can't stream it in HDR for some fucking stupid ass reason. 
This game looks tasty in HDR, dude. He's listening to some kind of hair metal or something. I never noticed that before. To play a Spoonie. If Spoonie was a character in this game. Don't tell me how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay? Don't tell me how to survive it. He would just never leave the gas station. He'd throw a little hissy fit and just stay in the gas station the whole fucking time. That's weird. Yeah, I'm really depressed. This is really this is really a depressing zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I gotta mute my mic, dude, for sure. Oh my god, dude, this looks so good on my TV, guys. Holy lord. And I got game, bo game mode on, dude. This is just so snappy, dude. It was not the snappy on my other TV. Like, holy shit, dude. You guys, you guys gotta get on it, dude. You got a donation? Here, hold on, let me bring it up. Hello? Anybody there? I'll go to it. Something's not right. Oh, wow. Thanks, Darkstar Ninja. Sorry I have to leave. I gotta take care of some shit right now. But I will try to come back later. Happy streaming, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Appreciate that. Awesome. Really generous. I, uh... I would say HDR is the biggest leap forward in visual technology since 720p to 1080p. I would say it ain't even no question. Like, 4K is good and all, and you can notice it with bigger sizes. I mean, when you watch 4K content on this TV, you notice. But HDR is a way bigger thing. He's trying to fuck him, dude. Look at him. He's getting, he's getting doggy style, dude. That's why they don't even make 3D shit anymore, dude. They don't even make... Shit. Get that key, yo. Get that key. Oh, man. Playing this game is all coming back to me, dude. You fucker. Damn it. Danger off one freaking zombie bite, dude. Yeah, welcome to hardcore. Oh yeah, this game. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Shit. Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Gotta remind myself how to even fucking do this, dude. It's been a while. It's been months. Yeah, I played this game before, but it's been a while. I beat all the different modes and shit, but holy crap. No! I think Claire looks absolutely amazing in this game, dude. I love the way Claire looks in this. And she's got, like, really good personality. They gave her, like, real good personality traits. And I wish they would have done even more with it. I'm not the biggest fan of how Leon looks. He's got this butthole chin. He's trying to get, like, a Bruce Campbell chin, but don't look great. I bet there's all kinds of mods, dude, for this on PC, but I wouldn't know. I hope the PS5 uh, starts to adopt mods a little bit more. What's going on? I don't know. I'll come play that last time. Wait, wait, you're 
You need help setting up RetroArch? What do you need help with? I can definitely help you if you have questions. <laughs> you live around here? Suck dick? How much you charge for dick sucking? Yeah, Leon's face looks like he kind of had a mild stroke of some kind or something. He always looks a little bit off. It's lagging. If, you're, if your retro arc is lagging on SNES games, it's more than likely your TV is... Make sure you got it set up for game mode. Make sure you're in game mode. And if there's no audio, you got to go into the settings and tweak that and inside the inside of RetroArch. Make sure the audio is turned on, but your lag is more than likely your TV. You can you can freaking emulate NES, dude, on fucking literally on, on like toilet paper, dude. You can install ROMs on a dildo and it would probably play it. So if it's lagging on NES, you got some kind of setting messed up. Yeah, this game's a masterpiece. But they didn't they didn't do the connected A B A B games right, and it's not as good, which means it's a peepaw shit. And according to this guy named Spencer, oh I don't like the way the last boss looks, so the whole game sucks and dude I, some people are just so fucking stupid sometimes. Alright, let's skip this. Oh shit. Your computer sucks. It should still be able to emulate any ass games, bro. I mean, people have emulated Doom with, uh, through a fucking the screen on little teeny screens on printers and shit. So. You shouldn't have any problem with that. But if it's really giving you issues, then you might want to switch to a less demanding emulator than RetroArch. It is. It's the station. The, that's one of my only complaints about this game is that they cut down the city section pretty much to non-existent status. So, Resident Evil 3, it'll be nice to have a little bit more of the city. Because I do like to see the city a little more. Oh yeah, I got the original OST for sure, dude. You know how I roll. That's, I very, very rarely ever buy any kind of DLC, especially for little things like that, but... I ain't fucking around, dude. I want the original soundtrack. Dude, this looks so much better than my other TV. Dude, my other TV had such bad backlight on it. I should have took that other TV back from day one. Listen to that music, guys. You hear that shit? Mmm! Delicious. Gay porn pops up, dude. It's super hardcore. What I recommend Shadow Loaf is to, you could always go to uh, Best Buy and get, I bet you'd be approved for a Best Buy credit card, dude. You can just put it on a Best Buy credit card. And you got a whole year, same as cash, and uh, you ain't even got to make no payments on it. And, you know, I'm like, you don't, you don't have any kind of late payments or nothing. And as long as you pay it off before a year, you have, like, no interest and shit. So, they got pretty good credit cards over there if, if, if you want to go that route. But I recommend everybody in here, dude. I, I wish I could buy each and every one of you guys in here. If I had the money, I'd buy each and every one of you guys in here a fucking Samsung Q70, dude. It is changing the way I look at I can't even believe the way some of these games look so good on this TV, dude. In my opinion, this a lot of things on this TV look even better than uh, OLEDs, in my opinion. 
The black levels might not be quite as deep, but they're pretty fucking close, dude. You ain't got to worry about no damn burn-in either on this TV. New ST, new OST's okay. I, I'm not thrilled about it. What's up, Hikamori? He didn't miss anything, dude. I'm playing with that OG soundtrack. See, that's the thing with fucking Resident Evil 3, dude. Resident Evil 3 does not really have a good soundtrack. I mean, it's certainly not on this level. I really should have probably saved it. But I'd like to get a little further before I waste an ink ribbon. Door's probably locked. Holy crap, dude. Cannot believe how good this looks. Original OST is the way to go, dude. I don't think they really did all that well with the new OST, if you want me to be completely honest with you. It's very subtle. It's very low-key. I mean, I guess if that's what they're going for, but why change it? I don't think that this original OST should have been um, downloadable content. I think it should have been an option from the get-go, but whatever. It was like two bucks. I can't really bitch that much. But yeah, guys, like I was saying in that video I just released, you know, like that kind of stuff, guys, I just can't do it anymore. I mean, it's just not worth it. I know you guys like my takedowns and stuff like that, man, but I've just done it so much over the years that I just got such a backlog. I mean, if you guys want to watch any of that stuff, it's there. You know, I just don't... I'm not going to risk my ability to stream or do anything else on my channel just for some stupid takedown thing, you know what I mean? Try to take someone down or, you know, brutalize them like... Great Exposure, I knew Great Exposure was going to have that problem, dude. What's up, Arbiter? Matter of fact, me and Arbiter were talking about it. Me and Arbiter were talking about, like, you know, Great Exposure's gonna run into a problem with this. 90 minute takedown of fucking David Jaffe. Dude, David Jaffe don't fuck around. Yeah, my streams are better, anyways, dude. I agree. I have more fun with these. <laughs> It's just, it's just, that's a brutal dick sucking he's getting on the other side of that, dude. Those are the way I like them. Old style. Yeah, if the lower half of my body don't look like that after a dick sucking, then the girl has failed. That's what I always say. Hell yeah. I don't know if Silent Rob Fragments is even making things anymore, are they? Yeah, I don't even think Silent Rob... I haven't seen anything from Silent Rob Fragments in a while. My rants have... Oh, shit. My rants have a, a lasting impact for sure, man. I mean, and that's... And that's all cool and shit. Oh, let me get my game face on here. Holy shit. Mm, trouble. Trouble. The fuck out of here, man. Get out. Oh, thanks for that close up of Leon's fucking butt crack. <coughs> fuck yeah, original music. Yeah, 
here. This game is great, dude. I ain't gonna touch your nasty, bloody hand, bro. Wash your shit. Wash your damn hands. I just, I wish this whole entire game took place in the police station. I wish the police station connected to the lab, and then that was that. Like, I'm really not a big fan of the sewer part in this. I mean, it's good, it is what it is, but... I, I'm really, even in the original game, the sewer was the weak sauce part of it. And I think when they were going to remake this, they should have just done away with the sewer part. Oh, thanks, Hikamori. Put this money towards a copy of Rogue Trip on PS1. Hey, <laughs> damn right, dude. That game kicks ass. I've come with you, but I just leave now. Stop. Take it, it's a dildo. Dude, the, the mods that they put, that, that they missed with these people's faces. Have you guys seen those YouTube videos where they, they put the faces like on like 5,000 or something and then their faces look all fucking crazy? I love that shit. I'm trying to keep the volume down as much as possible. You won't. You only notice the echo on uh, talking parts. It's hilarious, dude. They make Marvin look fucking crazy in it. All right, let me save it here. As you can tell, I've uh, played this game quite a bit, but the last time I played it was February of last year. <laughs> Thanks like the last time I played it. Got beat both these characters on hardcore. Holy shit, dude, so it was February, February 12th was the last time I played it. That's crazy. Now we're back in February 2020 and I'm playing it again. I just get cravings for it. Randomly in February, dude. Yeah, comments, I hope they stay okay. Let's not jinx it. So, I'm gonna hold off on using my first aid spray for now. Guess I got a, well, I got another one. Fuck it. Alright, so I got... I got that paper that I think allows me to open this, right? Yeah, it's almost an anniversary playthrough. Officer's notebook. So which one is this? This is the lion. So it's a lion head. Lion head. Weed. Phoenix. Well, this looks like a weed leaf to me. And... Yes. In hardcore mode, they give you the, uh... The solutions to these, like, earlier, don't they? It seems like you had to, like, look something up in order to get them in the regular mode or something. I don't know. That's why I always refer to them as weed leaves. Rob, do you like Doom on Switch? I, I played, my brother had it, and I played it, uh, and, but I, did, I mean, it's impressive for a handheld, I guess, to be able to do that game. I, I don't know. Once it's cheap enough, I'll get it, I suppose. Shut the fuck up, dude. Punk ass. Talking shit, dude.
so I can't go back over there? I can't remember. Switch is jittery mode. Damn right. Oh, I got the knife. That's right. Okay. I remember. Like, you couldn't take that tape off by hand. Like, give me a fucking break. It's life or death, dude. I'd be clawing at that freaking tape. I was just not even supposed to be here today, man. It's crazy how they made they made this particular room look exactly the same. Like this waiting area, this looks mad impressive. I don't think the liquor's here yet, if I remember right. That radio action. Clerks with zombies. That's actually kind of a good idea. Has anybody ever made a Clerks movie with zombies? Clerks style? I guess uh, Shaun of the Dead is sort of like that a little bit. Kind of has that Woody Banner plus zombies. Oh shit. Is Resident Evil 7, I mean, is it good on repeat playthroughs? I think that's kind of the, uh, I got rid of it, I sold the game, and I haven't bought it since. So I'm definitely curious if that game is good on repeat playthroughs or not. Because I really only beat it once. No. <laughs> You're like, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's sad, dude, because, I, I mean, that, the game had a lot of potential. It was a it was a fun first-time playthrough. But I feel like, you know, with the com almost complete lack of enemies in that fucking house, and when there is enemies, they're just as, like, goofy-ass blob creatures. It wasn't really my style. Map action... And that's actually quite useful. How was the DLC? The DLC, I guess, added a, a lot more, I heard. I always forget those bullets. I can sneak past this guy. Gunpowder action. Oh, why didn't I put that ink whip ribbon away? Dude, I'm retarded. Damn it. Hold on. Combine. Twelve. Okay, we're good. This is gunpowder. weird, I've wanted to buy Resident Evil 7 again, but the Gold Edition version of it is still fucking crazy expensive. Oh, you fucker. Does anybody remember the safe combination? Go ahead and let me know. We will put it in. Put it in balls deep. I got 112 people in here. You guys really want to watch me play Resident Evil. Resident Evil and Mega Man seems like the the games you guys like watching me play the most. If any of you guys know this safe combination, I would appreciate it. You learn real quick playing this game. Okay, left nine. 9, 12, 15. Okay. 9, 12. Oh, wait, I, 
didn't do it right, did I? Nine. And then pass nine once, right? Twelve. Huh, that's not, is that not right? Am I doing it wrong? Or is it right nine? Nine. Twelve. I'm retarded. Left, left nine, right fifteen. Left. Hold on. West office safe. Nine, twelve, seven. God damn it. It is nine. I got the nine. Left nine, right fifteen, left seven. There we go. Left seven, okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is important to get this. You gotta have this hit pouch action. Nice. Oh, fuck you, dude. God damn it. I have this desk up here I'll need you guys' help on too. I don't think I ever figured this um, puzzle out like organically at all. I think you guys always help me with this. Do you guys remember the, these two? Ned and MRG? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I ever figured these out, actually, with the way you're supposed to figure them out, which is totally fine with me. Dude, I had a desk just like that at my house for years. It looked exactly like that with the, the way it opened up the same and everything. Got the Matilda mag. Hell yeah. It's the first initial of the last names of the detectives. Oh, okay. I'm retarded. Lost my freaking knife though, that's so cool. I think... Which one? Oh shit. I don't know if any of these open right now or not. 109, 106. Those bullets. I'll discard the key. Yeah, you're right. I forgot you gotta manually discard this stuff. Okay, cool. So now, do that there. Get this stuff. I gotta remember how to play this game, guys. It has been, as you guys can tell, an entire year. I don't care about the roll of film, dude. I ain't even gonna get that. One oh three and one oh two you can't get yet. Right. Okay. Fuck out of here. Rob, do you watch any Melanakis streams? Um I've seen like videos of him on YouTube. I was actually really surprised that he was even still around. Um, I used to watch him back in the day, like on MTV or whatever, that Andy, Andy Monaco show that he had. That shit's 
shit going. Um, I didn't really think he was all that funny, but he had some funny skits for sure. <coughs> I know many people won't agree with me, but I always thought Tom Green was funny. He always cracked me up. Um, it's just my type of humor, I guess. Gunpowder. Ink ribbon. Uh, I think Freddy Got Fingered is an, a fucking masterpiece. What's up, Muda? I love the save room music in this game, dude. Alright, let's save it. Your favorite comedy? Do you got good taste, my friend? Yeah, I didn't even get that roll of film. I mean, you can. I think that roll of film might show you something that's useful, but I'm not. I don't really care. Oh shit. Where are you going, dude? What's going on? Oh, doing my patented shoot him and run by him real quick technique. It didn't, doesn't work on steps, I guess. Mixed herb action. Getting a uh, good amount of. Oh shit. What's the combination on this one, guys? Do you remember? Is it fuck? Fick? Well, my mom texted me. Cap. Awesome. gonna have to shout you out a bit more now you do deserve more viewers on here I, th I really appreciate that muda that means a lot dude I'd love to make a video with you bro dude your brutal takedown of that fucking uh, guy who faked his that J station dude that was fucking absolute brutality dude you literally led the charge on that I hope you know like, you lit, led the charge. You called the cops. The cops even fucking was just like, nah, never happened. Now it's just completely confirmed that it's bullshit. But you were the first one to really fucking lay it on that dude, dude. He did not know who he was fucking with. And that was hilarious. Uh, dude, I was laughing my ass off in that video, dude. That was cool that that cop didn't care that you, uh... Because you asked him in that video... If I could use the footage, and he's just like, yeah. Couldn't believe it. Because he could have been a dick. These are kind of a pain in the ass. Damn it. Damn it. Got it. Yeah, dude, Ani, Ani's really getting into the, uh, like, Ani's starting to, Ani's starting to get, like, a big head and shit, dude. Ani's like, it's like, you could be streaming without me, we're a team now, we're a team. She's like, I want 50%. <laughs> she cracks me up, dude. She's all she's always pissy when she's got to work and I got to stream. She'll come in and pie the stream pretty soon. I'm laying on the guilt trip, like fine, fuck, fuck you then. Divorce papers are on their way. Like she just she loves it, dude. She loves streaming now. 
our dynamic is pretty legendary, dude. Anybody that ever hangs out with us. We went bowling with this girl I know. Um, the other, uh, yesterday, and, uh, it's the first time she met Ani, and she's like, wow, Ani's funny as fuck, isn't she? I was like, yeah. She's something else. Alright, what's this combo? Like I said, An Ani is, uh, DCM. Ani was just so shielded from a lot of things by her parents that she just doesn't know how the world works in a lot of ways. I've had to teach her a lot of stuff, dude. Mag ammo. I don't know if I should even get that right now. Leave that in there for later. That's the most important thing is that key right there. Yeah, dude, Ani's a trip. You guys have no idea. You guys have gotten a taste. I've gotten the whole buffet for over two years now, dude. Full access to the Ani buffet. Oh, this is where you get your first liquor, I think, isn't it? gonna pick that up yet. I gotta remind myself how to do this, guys. It has been a grip since I played this. That's the library. Okay, you can't open this over here. You need that detonator. I do remember that. Just kind of looking for bullets right now. Okay, that's the gunpowder, I think, isn't it? No, that's the wood. The library. My dick is dry. My dick is dry. I need to be wet. Get here ASAP. It's like, I'm coming, man. I'm coming. Love the music in this game, dude. X is gonna give it to you. X is gonna give it to you. Yeah, Pat the NES Punk can suck my fucking nutsack, dude. I'll purposely wipe my ass the wrong way so shit can get on the ball so then he can fucking have shitty balls in his mouth. Yeah, I'm hyped on that Resident Evil 3, dude. Yeah. No, Lulu, this is the uh, downloadable content for the soundtrack. So you can download the original soundtrack and put it in, which they should have done in the freaking first place. Because it's my favorite part of this game, is the soundtrack. What's your take on Shigeru Miyamoto and his mentality? I think he's got an ego on him, but I think, I mean, I think he deserves to have an ego. I mean, the man has created considerably probably the best games of all time. So, I mean, he's definitely got an ego. And some would argue that some of the things he says are true. Um, I don't agree with him about his Donkey Kong Country views. I think Donkey Kong Country is... In a, those three games on the Super Nintendo are in a lot of ways... I play them more than Mario World. I mean, you got to give these games credit. I mean, three awesome games that came out. I mean, he only came out with fucking Mario World, Mario World 2. A lot of people don't even like Mario World 2. Super Nintendo wasn't exactly, you know, covered to the brim with fucking Mario games. So, you know, he doesn't really need to be talking shit. What up, Ani? We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. How you, how you don't want me to stream with you without you anymore and shit. Don't be mad. We'll stream later. So I think I just go back up here. Actually, no. Let me go to the item box. Do it up over here. What's up, Ani? My ears are ringing. We were just talking about how stupid it is for people to say that, and now you're saying it. 
So this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this in a second, so I'm gonna keep that. I'll put the shotgun stuff in here. Put that ink ribbon in there. Move that around. My whole thing is, is this, okay? I don't think that there's been an absolutely amazing Mario game since the freaking Mario Galaxy games. Um, the, the one on Switch I don't think is that great. I know a lot of people might say otherwise. Uh, hold on, you got a donation? Oh yeah, King Kong Lulz. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep on keeping on. I didn't think Mario Odyssey was all that great. Um, I bought it and played through it in a couple days. Oh shit. Damn it. Man, you get one fucking bite, dude. Bogus. Red book. And uh, I just didn't think it was all that good. It was okay, at best. It's too easy. I mean, at some point along the lines, all these Mario games has lost all fucking difficulty. I'm trying to think of what game it started with. I would probably say the new Super Mario Brothers games are probably around the time that Mario got completely neutered. Because even Mario Galaxy was challenging. You know, had some challenging stuff. I really like the Mario Galaxy games. I'm surprised they haven't redone those on Switch yet. But at Pretty much at the new Super Mario Brothers games is where Mario got neutered of all difficulty whatsoever. And ever since then, Mario, Super Mario uh, 3D Land, 3D World, the new Super Mario Brothers games, they're all too easy. So a lot of you guys that have been growing up with these Mario games for like all these years, it's just, it's, it's just fucking bullshit because they're just, they're not any challenge. I gotta have... I gotta have some kind of challenge. Mario Galaxy had some challenging stuff in it. You just had to look for it a little bit. But it was fun. Those games were at least fun. I'll get, I'll say that. Okay, so this one is... Odyssey disappointed me big time, dude. Uh, okay, so this one is the circle, the scorpion, and the blob looking thing. So... Circle, scorpion, the pot, unicorn medallion. It's kind of shitty that I'm almost dead. I should really probably use an herb or something. Oh no! Oh no! I'm dead! Oh man! Flame! Flame sauce. And I forgot that door was locked. That sucks balls. Oh well. We saved not long ago. Donkey Kong Country 2 is tougher than I think all Mario games. I got fucked up, Ani. Go on without me. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, God. I gotta put this stuff back in the item box again. So I already got this stuff. So I can combine this. Odyssey, I don't even see, you, you know, like, people want to say Mario Odyssey is like Mario 64. I don't even see the similarities there. I know some people want to say that. I don't even see that. Like, that game does not remind me of Mario 64 pretty much at all. 
Now, like, I didn't have a good time with that game at all. I was mostly just fucking bored the whole time. Like, big time. What was the combination on this again? I'm sorry. Can't remember. These combinations go in one ear and out the other. If they would just put Mario Odyssey 1 and 2 on like one on one cartridge, that'd be fucking dope, dude. Mario Odyssey games were the last good Mario games in my opinion. Steel Boys. Oh, I gotta do this stupid safe thing again. Shit. Collect the metal on the second floor across from the stairs office and then get the metal on the third floor. Okay. good at these. At all. I thought that was it. Damn it. Finally, horrible. Uh, Dumality, Miyamoto's Star Fox game on Wii U was beyond disappointment. I'm a huge fan of 64 and just sucks they haven't made a decent game since. I 100% agree with that. I 150% agree that Star Fox has just been an, a complete waste of potential with that whole series, dude. Oh shit. God damn it! You're fucking kidding me, dude. I'm out of practice, yo. Forgot how many fucking shots it takes to their legs. Now, what was this one? Can I tell my coworkers I'm sick and need to go home? No, babe, can you not do this every day at work? Every day you're like, wanting to leave work. Like, get a grip. This is planet Earth. We all have to work. Oh, you're crazy. I would go so far as to say Star Fox 64 is the only good Star Fox game. <laughs> what was the combination on this one, guys? Hopefully this will be the last time we have to do this. My sincerest apologies. You, yeah, I saw I've read it, Dream Man Domality. About your Star Fox game. DCM. Star Fox is just a weird series, dude. It's just a series that never met its full potential. I mean, it's such a simple series anyways. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's a type of series that, I mean, it's just an on-rail shooter with a little bit of Nintendo personality spiced into it. What? 
there's not really a whole lot there anyways. I mean, you could go so far as to say that it's just a rip on the fucking uh, Panzer Dragoon games, basically. With a little bit of Nintendo gravitas thrown into it. Go back to Marvin here. I mean, even with Star Fox 64, guys, I mean, it's the type of game you can beat in like 20 minutes. So it's like not a lot of meat on the bones. See ya, babe. When it comes to that game in the first place. Yeah, I mean, that game was like $80. Oh, shit. Go. That game was like $80 or something when it came out because it came with the Rumble Pack, and my brother got it uh, for his birthday one year, and I think he beat it within an hour and a half. And I, didn't th I thought Star Fox 2 was dicks. I thought Star Fox Zero was dicks. I thought... Yes. I think the original Star Fox is even pretty hard to play. Yeah. It's clear. came into town with it. To that courtyard. It's the second floor. Second floor. Eastside. I'm on it. Thanks. Thanks. Lieutenant. 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 Alright, I'm gonna save it this time since I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fucking do all that shit again. Oh crap, you know what? I think I left behind an ink ribbon in that in that save room. That sucks. Hold on, let me open this book. Oh, no, wait. You just use this in a bookshelf. I don't need that. I don't need that. Keep it all nice and tidy. Save it. Because I'm going to go back up there and get that other uh, little medallion thing. I don't want to die because I go back in the library. Check furry games. Dude, I don't like Sly Cooper. I tried playing them, dude, on the uh, PS3 re release of them. I, I think they're boring. I was just not into it at all. I don't know if there's anything down here or not. Yep. I got pistol ammo for days because I'm not shooting anything. It's best to just run by everything. Sly Cooper's pretty meh. Shit. Oh, fuck. Wow. All right. I am out of practice like crazy on this. There's a way to run through the door as soon as they open the door, but you can't get smashed in the face with it like I did, like an idiot. Glad I saved it. The worst PlayStation IP is probably Killzone. I think Killzone is shitty. I think the only reason Killzone was even remotely as popular as it was there for a little while is because there's nothing else to play on PS3 at the time. I think Wipeout's a generic brand F-Zero, <laughs> even though Wipeout does have its good points, mainly being the soundtracks of them.
Prop of the Rapper is shitty, too, yeah. Killzone 2 was good back in the day, dude, but, I mean, have you tried to go back and play it? It's pretty rough. Lore is boring for sure, dude. Damn it! Let's go, go, go! <coughs> I got two of the medallions now. I haven't played three since it came out, dude. First one, Age Like Milk. The second one's just boring. I tried to go back and play that one not too long ago, actually. Hey, yeah, I had my PS3 plugged in and got to Killzone 2 brewing, and 3 is definitely the best out of that series, even though people want to shit on it for various reasons. So, now we can go to the east side. Yeah, unfortunately, a first-person shooter genre is a type of genre that really, really shows its age very quickly. Just be, This is based on, you know, the graphics and shit. Alright, what's the safe combination on this one, guys? I remember the biggest thing with Killzone 2 was the weightiness. Like, it was... Dude, it felt like you were just, like, going up against, like, three seconds of input lag. Like, every time you try to turn the damn screen. Uh, left six, six, two, eleven. Okay. Six, two. Nice. Terrible input lag in that, dude. I thought there was something wrong with my TV when that game first came out. I was like, what the hell, dude? Matilda. You guys gotta remind me to pick these damn herbs up, because they look like freaking part of the scenery half the time in this game. I always forget. Rapid to predictability, the milkman, the paper boy, evening TV, days gone by. Sucking a dick and I'm cupping the balls. <laughs> Think I should have. Oh, wait, there's that staff or whatever I need. Oh, no, wait, you just put the arm on the thing, don't you? Yeah. That's, like, not even a puzzle. Oh, wait, you gotta put something on the arm, too. I don't even remember what. There's this one guy I used to talk to. He's a fan of mine. He used to, like, be obsessed with, like, all that book that I put in the damn... Shit. Here, on, I gotta go back and get that book. Yeah, he was always talking about Killzone and shit all the time. I can't remember what his name was. He might be in here right now, for all I know. He made a big retrospective on Killzone and shit. It's like, man, those games are not good enough to be making no retrospectives on them. I'll tell you that much. 
figured I was going to need that book as soon as I put it back in there. I wish I could hear the music. I got the music turned down so low so it doesn't have echo. I see, I see. I think the liquor busts in too. I remember right. I'll just break that damn statue's arm off, dude. Shoot it a couple times, be done with it. This is the real world. Fucking around with that shit. Pricey looking gemstone. I just. He just takes that gemstone, goes and pawns it, so becomes a very rich man, and quits the force, moves to an island, fuck this zombie bullshit. Almost positive there's a fucking liquor around here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, Claire's down here. I need that dick! Get down here, hurry up! I'm ovulating, hurry up! He's like, what? Never mind, I just, I need that dick. <laughs> What's up guys? So nice to see you. You're looking wet as fuck, looking hot as fuck. Mm. Easiest console to mod. If you want to start off modding and you've never modded anything, mod a Wii. Mod a Wii first. I'll start you out. That's real easy to do. PSP is also easy. Uh, if you want to step it up a notch, I heard PS3 is kind of medium difficulty, but you have to, I don't know if every firmware of PS3 can be modded or not. I've yet to mod a PS3. I have two PS3 sitting here that I'm probably going to try to mod at some point. Anybody have any experience in here modding PS3s? Vitas are kind of tough. But is PS3 pretty easy to mod? Can you play ROMs and emulators and stuff after you mod a PS3, or how's that work? I know OG Xbox is easy. Fuck Marvin, open the door! Idiot. Yeah, I thought about getting a Wii U just to mod it. I heard it's not too bad to mod. Shit, god damn it. Fuck. Bull crap, dude. Fucking damn near out of health. I'm out of health, health ships of one little herb. Unlocks PS2 emulation. On the slim, does it? Does that mean I could put a PS2 game into a slim after I mod it? How's that work? High grade gunpowder, alright. Can hang with that. Oh, fuck. Um This isn't good. Come back. Shoddy ammo. I don't want to kill a zombie because I hardly ever come through this room. 
shit. Yeah, I ain't got no spaces. Oh, that's the electrical part I need, too. Whoa! Not good. Oh, it's for the shutter, damn it. Oh, I'm in fucking deep shit, dude. Yeah, I'm done. Done for. God damn, dude! I forgot how tough this was. This is no joke. Okay, so custom firmware is only compatible on FATS and early versions of slim models, while HIN is compatible with all PS3 models. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. Um, what's HIN? What can you do with HIN that you can't do on custom firmware? Yeah, I'm way out of practice, guys, for sure. I have a couple early slims, so it's probably capable of doing it anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna store this button. Store this. Hen is homebrew enabler. Think of Hen on PSP. I never had Hen on PSP. I just did... Well, I mean, unless that's what it was. Okay, so I didn't... I have to get that stupid thing again, don't I? Yep. God damn it, dude. What's up, guys? I got plenty of ammo to be uh, shooting stuff, but I just never shoot anything yet. I just want to do, I want to put emulators and shit. Whoa, whoa. I want to put emulators and ROMs on PS3. Can Hen do that? That's all I want to do. So can if I put Hen on it, will it be able to like to simulate stuff? That's all I want to do, and just play, you know, with my Dual Shock and everything else. I'm a simple man. Hen allows you to access apps like Multi, like Multi Man to run your backups, but you have to enable it every time you start up your PS3. Oh, okay. That sounds kind of shitty. Hen should allow you to run RetroArch. Oh, okay. Well. I'm gonna have to partake in that. What do I need, just a thumb drive? I like to mod everything, Brutal Justin. You obviously don't know how much of a madman I am. I would, I would mod my wife's titties, dude. I would mod my wife's titties to play ROMs if I could. Oh, thanks, Carmella. Can you do a Facebook post of your favorite YouTube channels you like to watch? Might be a, yeah, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Oh god, you guys gotta tell me this combination again. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking retard. Let me start just writing it down. I don't care about PS2 emulation, dude. I hardly have any PS2 games anyways. Most of the best ones I have were downloadable, and I got them downloaded on my PS3 anyway, so it's really not that big a deal. Left 6, right 2, left 11. 6, 2, 11. Okay. 6, 2. Awesome. Awesome sauce. This is definitely not going to be any kind of 
world record speed run on this game, that's for sure. Oh, what the comments stop? We had a good hour and 15 minutes of the comments working. I think they're stopped. Man, YouTube needs to get it together, dude. What is going on with this fucking... Oh, I didn't get the book! God damn it. Yeah, I think the comments are done on the... on the screen. Lulu was the last comment on the screen, guys. Now I gotta look at my phone, look at the fucking comments. Retarded. Hey, <laughs> Lulu, what did you do? Fuck! Ridiculous. That's all right, let me just turn the comments off. I can get the full screen effect, which will be better, better to play this with anyways, honestly. Oh God, oh my God, this is fucking, woo! It's so big. It's so big and fat. Like, it's just the size of games, dude, are just so enormous. You wouldn't think they would be. You know, with just an extra 10 inches, an extra 10 inches, it matters. I was thinking, because my wife was asking me, it's like, do you want a 70 inch, or do you want a 75 inch, like what size TV? I was like, 65 inch would probably be fine, and then, luckily I didn't get any bigger than this. Dude, 65 I think is as big as anybody needs. You get any bigger than this? If I was to get any bigger than this, the way my living room's set up, dude, I'd have to, I wouldn't even be able to like look at the whole screen. I have to like scroll my head to even see it. I'm already sitting pretty close. Four inch TV. I don't fuck around with that four inch shit. I'm starting to do streams. Any ideas of how to start? Oh, it's just such a late time to start streaming, dude. I mean, I wish you all the luck in the world, my friend. It's kind of hard to build a fan base at this point in time unless you got big titties or um, somebody else gives you a shout out or something. Muda's helped me out quite a bit here recently with views and stuff. He's been. As a matter of fact, there's probably some fans of him that discovered me through Muda that are in here right now. So, having knowing people helps quite a bit. Dude, I remember when 32 inches was fucking madness. Like, I remember when 32 inches was nuts. It was still damn near a thousand dollars when they fucking came out and shit, dude. I rocked 32 inches for a long time. So don't feel bad. Man, HDR just makes these fucking dark, these dark fucking shots look so much better, dude. I can tell the difference, because right now it's off and I can tell, definitely tell the difference. TVs aren't too bad, guys. I mean, if you just want something that's 60 hertz, you know, basic 4K TV, like a high sense or something, man, you can get a 55 inch for a couple hundred bucks. If you don't care about the best of the best. On the topic of PS3 modding, can a modded PS3 run PS2 games? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Rob, what did you... What if you did a ROM stream of Little Samson and you call it, is Little Samson worth $1 million? I could do that, but it, it would be over in like 30 minutes because that game's so fucking short, you guys wouldn't even believe it. It's a lot shorter than you guys think it is. I'm 
go use this electrical part real quick and come back in here. He was dead, dude. Asshole. Combine that. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Weapons locker thing. I, I will need that fairly soon. I don't need the shotgun shells yet. This I need and this I need. I don't think I need this yet. Mr. X, he's brewing. He is brewing. Well, we won't really fight him after until after the first boss, so. They added new content. A lot of this game's new. For sure. There's not. I can always come back to it, guys. This is not a speed run. This is me re relearning how to play this. It has been a while. Fuck. What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Still have Resident Evil 7. No, I ended up selling it. Thought there was a ink ribbon in there, but I was wrong. Man, I got a lot of bullets, man. I've been wasting bullets. That guy alive? Oh, God. Liquor time, here we go. Shotty time, shotgun shell time. I got a lot of shotgun shells. You don't get the shoddy in Claire's campaign, do you? Oh God. Yeah, you get the grenade launcher. I like the shotgun better.
Oh, let me make sure. Let me go and use this. Armory door. Is the bow gun still in this? I think that's a... Oh, no way. It's a dong... Oh, no. This car key's for the other room, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. I totally forgot about that. I don't have the space for a damn flashbang right now. Getting shotgun shells out the ass, dude. No shotgun yet. Heat-resistant three-number combination safe. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, bowgun might be in clear in uh, code Veronica. I don't. I don't quite remember. You guys got to remember, I don't really like code Veronica. Okay, so I can use this and then get the red herb going. If there's anything down here or not. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Game face. Game face. Game face. Game face. Is there anything over there I need? I don't remember. There's a door over here. Yeah. Shortcut. Of course he wants to lick me, dude. I don't need that right now. So now I gotta remember where to go. Like I'm completely lost here. Is it worth the price? Man, this game's awesome. Hell yeah, it's worth the price. 200%. Yeah, I gotta get the... I gotta get the explosives. Where's the explosives at? Because <coughs> I got the battery. No, I need the explosives. I don't remember where that's at. Weapons locker. Let's go there first. Weapons locker. Third floor in the library. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's the last door I use for this key. Yes. They're on the wall already, the C4 is, I thought. So you just need the battery? Okay, let's go to this weapons locker real quick. Fuck you, dude, fuck you, dude. The shoddy like John Gotti. Hell yeah. Hey, 
Ain't nobody gonna fuck with me now, dude. Alright, giggity. I don't need the roll film. Detonator. Yeah, where's the detonator at? That's that's my question. Where's the detonator? On ground floor. Press room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where it's at. No, wait, it's over here. I should really save it. Let me save it. I made a lot of progress just now. Okay, no, maybe I was right then. Okay. Record room. Yeah, chain door over here. There's a liquor in here, that's why I'm being quiet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Glad I saved. That creepy ass mofo. Damn, dude, that music is nuts. Got it. Got it! Get a flashbang just for shits and gigs. Zombies are fast on hardcore, dude. Forgot about that shit. Yeah, the, it was written on a uh, cap was written on the whiteboard. But you guys already gave me that shit, so I already have the battery. I'm an idiot. Hey Rob, what do you, what, I can't believe that I would have to pay $5 for the original soundtrack. Was it $5? I thought it was like 2 I didn't care because I had to have the original soundtrack, dude. I ain't even playing. This ain't no motherfucking game. Original soundtrack or bust. Oh wait, am I, I'm going the wrong way. Damn it.
Wrong way, bitches. I already got that safe. I thought, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Get these bullets I left behind before. Dude, you can't believe Onision's behavior, dude. I can't fucking believe that J Station's. But be oh shit, that J Station's behavior is fucking absolutely mental. I mean, how the fuck are you gonna pretend that your fucking girl is dead, dude? I mean, what kind of fucking psychopathic shit is that? I mean, you honestly think you're gonna get away with something like that? I mean, that's just fucking bizarre. Doesn't even make any fucking sense. I mean, how do you how do you know? I mean, how do you not understand that people are gonna find out? They're gonna find out. That your girl's not fucking dead. I mean, that's the most retarded shit I've ever fucking seen, dude. Shit. Alright, so it's the woman... It's the head, the bow, and the snake. The head. The bow. Snake. I like that the puzzles aren't really too bad in this game, you know what I mean? Like, they're not completely total insanity. Okay. Well, that's... I knew that wasn't gonna work. I don't know what I was thinking. Damn it. Fuck! Now the liquor, that liquor you pretty much have to kill. Yeah, that liquor you pretty much have to kill. I think I gotta go get that fucking detonator again. Yeah, that liquor you gotta kill because the zombie in the liquor combo in that room is pretty brutal. Yeah, I gotta go fucking get that goddamn detonator again. What's up here? Oh. I'm just gonna run through as fast as I can. Fuck these bitch ass zombies. Yeah, you, you can't even get away from them, dude. Game face. 
Flashbang and book it. I'm saving that flashbang for the liquor. If you run out of ammo towards the library before the, the bomb goes off, I think the metal shelf doesn't fall on you. Oh, really? I did not know that. <laughs> Fuck you, ho. This game's hard. Um, when you got the pu the puzzles all down, you know where to get everything, and you do it all according to plan, and the zombies give you good patterns and stuff like that, it's not too bad. But I haven't played this game in a year, so I'm very, very rusty. I think Code Veronica is harder than this game. I'm gonna go put this uh, ink ribbon back. I don't know why I still have it. <coughs> it's automatically discard shit. I don't know why I gotta tell it to do it. Alright, let's do it, bitches. Yeah, this liquor. Co Veronica is a fucking nightmare, dude. I really don't understand how any normal person actually completed that game. Especially without any guides or anything. I, I think it's like damn near impossible. <laughs> to this day, I still haven't beat it. So I'm just gonna kill this liquor dude because I'm not even fucking around with this part. So I got my shoddy out. Code Veronica's long, too. Head bow snake. Bow. Get my game face. Supreme. God damn, dude. Is he dead? This punk ass. See ya. Nuts. It's pretty crazy. They trap you in there, dude. So you, you just gotta deal with that situation. Got Nicker. Let liquor knows you're there. So. I don't know if you can sneak by him or not. Now we got all the pieces now. Now we can go on the first boss battle, which is brutal.
Can you run by? I mean, good luck. This is that video that they did the crazy faces with, dude. That's so funny. So close to the ground. Okay. That's it. That's our way out. Tim Brenna. I don't care. Everybody's seen this. I was seeing this as like a rape chamber or something, dude. Some creepy shit going down in here, guaranteed. All right. Kill this boss, come back. Mr. X will be chilling. So we got more shotgun shells. My OCD will not allow me to not set this up like this. And I think that's it. That's the rock. It's funny because at this point in the game, I was just like, where's the bosses? I don't know. I think people are going to be very disappointed with this backwards compatibility on PS4, dude. I got a, I got an inkling that that's going to be the case. It's going to be, you're going to be downloading these games and they're going to be mad fucking expensive. I'm not paying $10 for a freaking PS1 game, dude. They better be like five bucks. I mean, they better just freaking really get it together, dude. Because I'm not paying $10 for a PS1 game, dude. Not doing it. And they could just put it in there. I could just put the fucking disc in and have it read it if they really wanted to. But they got to make that money, dude. Make that money. Yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna be buying them, dude. They're not giving you access to this stuff for free. They're not getting no money out of it if they're, you're just using your legacy media. <coughs> okay. I'm not paying any less than like four ninety nine for a fucking PS one game, dude. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Shit. Does it matter where you shoot this guy? I mean, do you have to shoot him in the eyeball sections? Or I've seen speedrunners, and they they tend to just shoot him wherever. So I can't tell. No, not good, not good, not good. Game face, I eyeball does more damage. I th yeah, but it's not mandatory, okay. I got more ammo in this than I did before in other playthroughs, I will say that. I have not been killing much. Oh shit, oh shit! Damn it! Kicked him in the nuts. Pretty fast, dude. This 
music fits this freaking game so much better than that freaking newer soundtrack. It's not even funny. Oh yeah, this is hardcore mode. Get that eyeball action. No shit, Leon. Thanks for your input, bro. I was gonna hug it. I was gonna let it play with my wiener. Who knew I needed to take it down? Oh shit, oh no! Lame. Oh god. He's not running very fast, bro. Okay, I think I'm out of ammo. Yes. Always sounds like he's having like a, a really painful dump and through this whole battle. I was in the bathroom next to somebody in a stall the other day. It sounded like this guy, dude. He must have had some bad Taco Bell, dude. He did not sound good. Getting some pretty slick shots on him, I will say. Oh, thank God for my sound bar. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I didn't know I was up against the wall. And my soundbar pretty much told me like what direction he was coming in. That was a crazy dodge, dude. Oh shit. He's trying to suck my dick, dude. I'm, I'm not like that, bro. We'll call drunken punk. Man, this guy takes a freaking shitload of bullets. Game face. Where's he at? Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I don't need you to explain grenades to me. Thank you.
This guy ever gonna die or what? Oh god, oh shit. Oh no. I'm dead. Dude, this guy's taking like insane amounts of freaking bullets. Dude, I completely forgot how many bullets this guy takes. Got like no health, too. Come on, you some bitch. He's got to slow down. Oh, I'm done for. Yep, that's it. I don't know, guys. I mean, I was almost out of bullets anyways. These bosses are just fucking annoying in this game. I will say that. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <sighs> fucking bullet sponges. I don't know if that was close or not. It doesn't really give you too much of an indication if it even is. Fucking annoying. Yeah, the last Mr. X fight is pretty sick. I will say that. I just wish they gave you more of an indication that you were just doing it right. I just, I don't feel like I'm ever fighting the bosses right half the time in this game. I mean, that should be enough fucking bullets to kill the thing, dude. I mean... Bullets barely work on him, too, so I don't even know. in the eye, so... Whoa! Guy bum rushes you, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the eye is the way to go with this guy, for sure. I'm 
gonna go get that nade. Oh shit. I'm not even gonna waste bullets on his body. I'm just gonna wait till he gets that eye action going. Some uh, crack shooting right there, dude. Where's my game face. Where's my game face? Yeah, where is he? That fucking nade at. There it is. Oh shit. Pick it. Get the nades. Quit trying to suck my dick. Oh no. Get out of his way. Go, go, go. Oh, you stepped right into that. Fool. Stupid asshole. Oh shit. Boss music's fucking awesome in this game too, dude. When you're using the OG soundtrack. Oh shit. You know, people wanna bitch about these bosses and they're not great but at the same time they're better than they were in the original game dude original game you would just shoot them like three or four times you wouldn't even move from the one spot I always thought the bosses were better in the original Resident Evil than they were in 2 Shoot him in the head for good measure. Right in the noggin. Yeah, he's got pink eye. He ate, the, he ate that burger from the trucker, dude. The trucker gave him some trucker gave him a burger. Fucked him up bad. Where's he at? I swear to you, I played this game a ton, and he's disappearing way more than he ever did. Any of my other runs, weird. There he is. Fuck. You love your play my playthrough of seven. Yeah, seven was shit. Seven was fun to play through for sure. Oh shit! He 
think it's way harder to hit the eye, dude. Oh, getting some good shots, though. He's taking a dump over there for sure, dude. Oh shit. I do wish like you ran a little faster in this game. It feels like your running speed is just a little bit too slow. And there ain't no re there ain't no way this guy would not be fucking running way faster than this. And this scary ass fucking thing is chasing you. Wow, dude. Fuck you, bro. It's tough, dude. I've seen speedrunners beat this shit with like a fucking knife, though. Wow, it feels like they improved his AI in like an update or something. Dude, he is doing some crazy shit that I've never seen him do before. I mean, I beat this game like four fucking times. Four or five times. Look at this, dude. He ain't letting me get any space. I mean, I can't, I don't have time to even shoot him. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. There goes my other health pack. Is he gonna die or what? <laughs> Fucking Christ Almighty, dude. Dude, I'm gonna end up running out of fucking bullets here. Oh shit. Here we go with this fucking running bullshit, dude. Man, I don't remember it being this tough. Gotcha, bitch. Jesus Christ. Hardcore ain't no joke with that. That was tough. I think they went a little bit overboard with the bosses. Thanks, guys. Somebody's watching. Somebody's watching me.
Hardcore is hardcore. Make sure I didn't forget anything here. There's always ammo that I always forget in that section. But fuck it. Get the oib. I get the hoib. You deserve an old heady from a a Ada. Yeah, damn right, dude. A little blowy, blowy action. Slamming in their mouth roof. I was never a big Ada fan, anyways, to be honest. It's always kind of a one-dimensional character to me. So when she had that reveal in Resident Evil 4, it was like, uh, so? Like, oh, Ada's here. Like, okay. All right. So? Yeah, I got a nut. So? I nutted. So? Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. All right, guys. I'm probably going to call it for now. Um, I got to eat. I'm fucking starving. I don't know how these streamers will stream like all fucking day, dude, and not eat and stuff. I'm not going to sit on stream and fucking eat. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, this is a fun stream, dude. For sure. But I'll stream later for sure. Ada is the free female proto man backstabbing bitch. I know, dude. That is true. But yeah, I'll be I'll be back, guys. I don't have to pick up Ani till midnight. It's only seven, so chances are I'll probably stream again. Let's uh, just for shits and gigs. Let's see if the comments are working again, or if Lulu's is still the last one. Yeah, <laughs> Lulu's is still the last one. That's crazy. Yeah, that boss ain't shit compared to that one on the crane. Dude, I hate that boss on the crane. It's horrible. Alright, guys. You guys take care. I'll be back. Peace.